Okay, welcome to episode one of the Ticket Punk Gig Review YouTube channel. My name is Neil. I'm John. And we are the Ticket Punks. Uh, we'll explain what we're going to do, uh, the concept of what we're doing. Um, thanks, first of all, for either tuning into the podcast or for looking up this video. We really appreciate that. Um, this is going to be a regular series, hopefully gig reviews going forward. Uh, we've got a big guest for episode two. We'll be discussing a gig that both him and I went to. Um, to introduce us, John and Neil, we've known each other going on 18 years now, played in bands together. John's a hell of a bass player. I tried to play the drums um, and we've been in various bands. So we, we go to a lot of gigs, not always together. We, we go to a lot of gigs all over the country, all over the UK. And we saw something happen last year with a ticket sale on Facebook and we thought it needed addressing and we could do something about it. So there was a sale, I think it was some in the summer, maybe June or July. Yeah. Um, Slipknot were putting tickets on sale, if you know Slipknot. Um, and there were various pre-sales. There was like an artist pre-sale, um, a Live Nation pre-sale. There might have been no two priority, I can't remember now. But what happened, and this never usually happens, at nine o'clock on the Friday on Ticketmaster, for the Glasgow Hydro in, uh, in Scotland, there was no standing tickets available for the public when the ticket sale, tickets went on sale. And that's unusual. They usually keep some back. Yeah. And we saw a hell of a reaction. It was within the first five minutes, you've seen the social media just kicking off with people just really, the same as we were, totally confused with this. Never seen it before with the amount yeah. of gigs and things you buy tickets for. To get no standing tickets so quickly... And like I say, I think was there five pre-sales we worked out? I think there were five. Four or five, almost one every day. Um, and that's really where the, the seed for the idea came from. Uh, what's what's this all about? Yep. How does this all work out? Um, so, so what we realised is that we're never that Friday nine o'clock Ticketmaster guy. We always get our tickets in pre-sales because we put in the work, we put in the homework, we sign up the mailing lists, we do a digging. Yeah. Um, this gig's come up, should we go? When can we get a pre-sale? There's one on Thursday, there's one on Friday. So by the time Friday comes along, eh, so there's one on Thursday, one on Wednesday, one on Thursday, by the time Friday comes around, we've got our tickets in the bag. We're not on Ticketmaster. But this Friday, Slipknot had a post and an event on Facebook and people were losing their minds saying, why are there no tickets on sale for the general public to Damn. stand? Because at those type of gigs, nobody wants to sit down. Especially at the Hydro. Great venue, but not ah. if you're sitting. Not for Slipknot. No for Slipknot. So we looked at it and thought, right, we can do something with this. So we started thinking um, we should start a ticket community where we help people get pre-sales. So we had to think about the best way to do it. Um, and we came up with using an app called Discord, which is a chat room app, which is was, was actually created for uh, gamers years ago. Um, I've been in Discords before. I think you've been in or your Once daughter's or been twice, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we know how it works and you can actually make them private, which is quite handy. So what we thought we would do is create a, a ticket community whereby if you join us um, for a, a small fee a month, you get, you're privy to all the pre-sales we find. So we um, scour the internet every week and uh, have signed up to loads of mailing lists. We find out when everything goes on sale and our members in that chat room get to find out as soon as it goes on sale. Yeah. I mean, uh, the work we put in at the start of the week to prepare some of the Fridays that we've done so far have been outrageous. With yeah. The number of links we're having to try and put up. Yep. Um, the Thursday and Fridays, and you've now seen Thursday at nine and ten o'clock. Yep. Which uh, kick in as well, and the whole idea is to just create this little community where people can get their tickets, and if you like, beat the beat the bots and uh, beat the touts a little bit to get the tickets and get themselves into the gig where they want to be in the standing bit rather than seated about 500 yards back from everybody's head. So just on that, yeah, um, you're probably aware that some guys use uh, bots, like robot bots, to snap up a lot of tickets on uh, a Friday on Ticketmaster, which immediately go into resale sites at like double the price. So we don't we don't want anybody being the Friday nine o'clock guy on Ticketmaster. We want everybody to have their tickets by then, yeah. so they don't have to use resale sites because, I mean, Ticketmaster have their own reselling. It's that bad that they, that they have their own reselling, which just bumps the price up. They have a new thing called Platinum Tickets. If a gig starts to sell out, they'll take certain seats they've got left yeah. and bump the price up before it sells out. It's just unfair. Uh, it's completely unfair. So we think we've got a little solution to this. Yeah. Um, so so Ticket Punks was basically born late December. Um, we started trying out the chat room um, thing a while back and it seems to be working quite well. Um, as John says, we put a lot of work in up front in the week watching for sales coming up. Um, and what we've started doing now, because 
people, I don't know about you, people are messaging me through the week saying, can you find me a link for this? Can you find me a link for that? It happened yeah. uh, yesterday, GLS had a tour and somebody messaged me and I said, well, if you'd signed up, you would have got, we've been posting it all week on the Discord. <laughs> and it, the thing is, um, like we've got kids and the people who are messaging me have kids and it's gigs for the kids they want. It's not gigs for yeah, them. It's, it's yeah. that, what do they call it? Pester power with the parents. They're like, dad, dad, we have to get these tickets. So, um, I mean, I know some of the people who have joined the, the, the Discord already have kids and, and there'll be some of that, but um, I said, well, if you joined up, you would have you would have had the tickets already because there's been three pre-sales this week and the guy didn't know that. It's, it's people like that we're trying to help because guys like us and a lot of the guys we go to gigs with, we don't have this problem because we, we put the effort in. It's when someone says to me or I say to someone, oh, did you get tickets for your son to go to that, that tour? It's all sold out now. I didn't know it was happening. He's going, was, to, he's, uh, going to go, he's going to lose it because I didn't know about that tour. I was like, well, we'll tell you about that. That was one thing I, I, I never thought of uh, when we thought of Ticket Punks is that it's great when it's the bands you're into. So I'll be on mailing lists for bands I like, Rush when they were touring, mm. uh, Foo Fighters, things like that. Rage. I, I've not got myself on the mailing list for JLS because that's just not my bag. Exactly. Um, might be my kid's bag. So uh, this is where Ticket Punks, I think, scores really well and that you don't have to be in these mailing lists now. We'll do that for you. Yep. And I never thought of that when we were when we were looking into this at first. Yeah, and, and signing up for a mailing list sounds really simple, but we know people aren't doing it. Like People just aren't, aren't going to the effort. So we've signed up to a lot of mailing lists. So we, we A, find out from bands and artists and, and comedians and family shows um, directly but we also trail Ticketmaster, Access, Eventim, O2, all these, and I pull everything in. So um, there are there are announcements every day. We're, we're, we're grabbing the big ones because to do it manually, there's just far too much. So we're having to think about that. If there's a way we can automate it. But for now, it seems to be working quite well. We're putting up 30 to 40 links on a Friday. Yeah. So what we do, our members get the pre-sales on the chat all, all through the week. Um, we've started a mailing list. So if you want to find out what goes on sale, as John says, at 9 a.m. on a Friday, I think there was a half nine yesterday, yeah. uh, and 10 a.m., we'll let you know because we can't charge you for that information. That's just that's the public information. We're happy to share that. So we've got a mailing list. If you go to the website, on the home page, right at the bottom, there's a mailing list form. You just fill it in, and we'll send you something every Thursday night, and that tells you exactly what's going on sale on a Friday morning. Um, we also take that list and post it on, on Facebook. Uh, we'll try and get around all the socials, but Facebook's the main one for us right now. Uh, we post that on a Friday morning at half past eight, so you're getting information for free as well. Yeah. So we're happy to do that. That's that's not a problem whatsoever. That's uh, that's one bit. That's the business bit, if you like, uh, of what we like to do. What we've not talked about is the community. Mm-hmm. Um, almost the first chat we had about this, we talked about gig reviews and getting actual gig goers to give us actual experiences of actual gigs, um, including where they're staying, where they're going for a decent where they're parking, pint, yeah, uh, where they're parking where they can get a nice burger afterwards or mm. beforehand, all this sort of stuff. And this is where we're really looking for everybody to come in. This is where we need their view and their community to really start helping us. And that's why I'm quite looking forward to episode two, mm. um, where we've got somebody who's been to one or two gigs in his time. Just a few. Just just a one or two, um, who's going to give us a, a good bit of chat on a really big gig that he's been to fairly yeah. recently. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. But the community is the big one that we want looking to push as well as the business, business, business. Yeah. So John's right, because we've started that chat already. We've got a few members, but we're not in any hurry here. This is a long-term thing for us. Uh, we want to be the UK ticket community. There is, there's no rush here. People keep saying to me, oh, how's it going? And I said, ask me in two years. Yeah. There is absolutely no rush here. We're very patient. We want it to grow slowly. Uh, when things grow too quickly, it can be an issue. So we always like to try and do things nice and slow. But John's right. We want a database built up where we have all that information you spoke about. Tips and tricks, where to park if you go to that venue. Right across the UK, we're obviously in the central belt of Scotland. We know quite a bit about what's going on up here, but we want to spread that out. Um, I've got four or five gigs in England next year, yeah. so we'll be on the lookout while we're there. What happened there? Where did we park? That's you know, Because parking's a huge thing when you go to gigs. Try, trying to get out of gigs at the end, you know, you want, you want to be quick away. Um, so we're looking to do that, but um, that'll take time, and, and and that's fine for us. We're in no hurry here. Um, anything else to add on that? I mean, the gig review thing is we we love we'd love for you to come and sit here and, and go through with John or I a gig review. You know, we want that every month. We, oh, yeah. we looked on YouTube and we couldn't find one dedicated gig review channel that was just for gig reviews. People go to gigs and, and do reviews, but we go to so many gigs, and we know people who go to a lot of gigs why not try and get the gig review channel on yeah. YouTube? And, and again, patience, we'll take our time with it, there's no yeah. rush. 
And I think it's important to get everyone involved in that. Um, I don't want it just to be my or Neil's view of bands. Um, I went to see Tiny Meat Gang last week with my daughter and I'm not the target audience. Um, so I, I could give you a, a review right now that's not going to be great for those guys. <laughs> not, it's not going to be great for their fans either. Um, but the place was full. They filled the O2 Academy and people were loving it. Mm. Um, but just, I wasn't digging it. Yeah. So it's not for me to come and sit and review that. That's where we're looking for the fans to come in. We want that community to give us the exactly. chat on how the gig's meant to be and did it work for the fans. That's the important bit for me. Exactly. I've spoken to people who have bought tickets through our links and I've said, you better come and review that with us. Come along and tell us. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a band I'd go to see. John and I err on the kind of heavier side of music. I mean, we, we like other stuff too, but most of the stuff yeah. we listen to is on the heavier side. So we want people who aren't in that community to come in and tell us about the gigs they went to see, or even the comedians and the family shows. Uh-huh. Let us know what you thought about it. So that's the whole aim of Ticket Punks. I think that kind of sums it up for episode one quite yeah. nicely. Um, as I say, this is a new channel. If you're if you're listening to a podcast, please please review us on there. Please start subscribing to it. If you're watching us on YouTube, we would love for you to subscribe and uh, press a little bell. Make sure you get every notification that we have. And tell us what you think on, uh, beneath this video. If you think it's a load of rubbish, let us know. We, we'll take all feedback and move on. We've got quite thick skins. We'll be fine. Go for it. Yeah. Um, but for now, I think that'll wrap up for episode one, John. That's it. And we'll see you at the gigs. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Cheers. Thank mm-hmm. you.